Howdy, y'all. My name's Phil Cook. I'm from North Carolina. Thank you all so much, man. Thank you all so much for coming and listening to this play. You know.
Hey, y'all, Sarah Watkins, so cool, man. So great. You live in North Carolina. You've been there for about a decade, is that right? That's, that's correct. But you're from Wisconsin. Born you're a Midwest based. boy. Um, and you recorded this record in both North Carolina and Wisconsin. Yeah, it was, yeah. A, real, it was a real knockdown drag up. We, uh, uh, I did a record called Southland Mission like two or three years ago. Yeah. And uh, some of these guys played on it. <laughs> And it took like six months. I mean, it, it took me 35 years to make, let's be honest. But, but yeah, we, uh, we just decided this time we were going to go for it like a little bit more like, you know, we're all huge music students. We all grew up jazz kids, all of us on stage here. And um, all of us have spent a lot of time deeply listening to the great American catalog of music that stems from New Orleans and jazz all the way up. And one thing that's just in common with just like a lot of why music was great 50 years ago is because times were so constrained and it just clarified people to get the message out, say what they wanted to say. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the other thing was that they used to make records in like three days. <laughs> like Otis Redding would take one day and make a, rec make a record. So we were just like, let's just do it as quick as we can and see how it goes. So we just did 10 days. In um, with uh, five days in Wisconsin, five days in North Carolina, and pretty much it was just done in ten days. We just did the whole thing. So, um, and do you do you still feel that difference between like your Midwest roots? I know your dad introduced you to a lot of like the roots and soul music yeah. that you like draw inspiration from, yeah. and then you just moved into a heart of it. Does that feel like a, a journey that makes sense to you? Does it sometimes feel like there's like this tension between a Midwest kid and a Southern oh, Southern it's, man? Of course, like, totally. But you know, um, I found. You know, when you're an outsider, sometimes when you look at something from a distance, you kind of see more of the general picture of what the whole thing is. You just get a little bit of truth from looking at something from such an isolated place. Like we all, well, at least JT and I come from the upper Midwest, and everything happens so far away from the upper Midwest. Everything, and especially when you study jazz, everything happened not in Wisconsin, <laughs> not in Minnesota. That's for real. I have to say, though, like, as a Southerner, seeing Phil in the South, that he always talks about the vibration. This is one of your things. You're talking about the vibration. It's very true. And it, like, things vibrate throughout time and space and music and Absolutely. all these things. And when you see him interact with the gospel people in North Carolina, that he loves to go and visit their churches and sing with them and do all these things, they react to him. It's on, they're on the same vibration. It's like... They, they adopt him immediately as their own. <laughs> my mom was a social worker and my dad was a nurse. So I'm kind of built for talking to people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening, everybody. Cool. Come say hi if you see me. <laughs> <laughs>